Coffee shops used to be something of a novelty here in our region and pretty much every place else, I suspect, except for Seattle. But over the past 20 years, coffee shops have swept the country, and yet there are still enterprising souls who see an opportunity despite uh, what might appear to be a market saturation to some. One of them is Pete's Coffee and Tea, a newcomer to our region from California. Pete's has been setting up shop here as part of an ambitious national expansion. Chip Crittenden is Midwest Regional Manager of Field Operations for Pete's Coffee and Tea, and welcome, good to see you. Hey, good to see you, thanks for having us yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely, kind of welcome back to our region. What, you're a Northeast Ohio boy, right? I am, yeah, born and raised there, and uh, moved out to California some time back, so I'm, I'm happy to be back here in the Midwest. Uh, that's pretty wild, so what, riding the Pete's wave back east? Yeah, absolutely, I mean, it's been a uh, you know, great opportunity to be able to come back and spread the word of Pete's um, that I've been uh, living for the last 10 years. So it's great to just bring the brand and the product here to Pittsburgh. Okay, so it's a brand that uh, I'm sure folks have been to the West Coast, California, they probably have some familiar familiarity with a lot of other folks, it's probably brand new. So what's the story behind Pete's? Yeah, Pete's is a high quality premium coffee and tea company um, where we hand roast each batch of coffee. Our roast masters taste each batch uh, three times before we actually send it out uh, to our chains. Um, and uh, in our stores, we handcraft each beverage, uh, freshly pulled espresso, steamed milk that looks like melted ice cream, uh, poured uh, and served uh, in a presentation way where you can actually see what you're going to be drinking. Now, uh, the company's for new, old, how long has it been around? We've been around since 1966. Seriously? Yeah, we started in Berkeley, California. Um, and well, that's back in the hippie day. That's <laughs> yes. when Berkeley was Berkeley, right? It, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, to go along with that, um, you know, our customers and uh, our employees are called Peatniks. Kind of a play <laughs> on the word Beatnik. I get that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and how did it come about originally? Was there a guy named Pete? Yeah, Alfred Pete um, came to America uh, from Holland and uh, he wanted to really present coffee in a different way. And, uh, you know, roasting in small batches by hand using all of your senses and serving that coffee as fresh as possible uh, to his customers. Hmm. Almost 50 years old now, but the company basically stayed there on the West Coast this whole time? Yeah, we really just stayed in Northern California, Southern California, kind of the West Coast, um, and slow expansion and, uh, you know, uh, over the summer, we've launched our largest expansion in the company's history, uh, and we're going to grow our fleet by 50% uh, by the end of next year. 50% by the end of next year. So that's so. How many restaurants do you have? How many stores do you have right now? So we have about 200 stores, um, and uh, by next year we'll have uh, about another 90 in the Midwest and East Coast. Okay. So I, but here in Pittsburgh, in our in, in our region, you know, nowadays you turn around and you see a Starbucks on on, on virtually every corner. Does this yeah. not give you pause that, that they've got such a head start? Oh, n not at all. I mean, I'm glad they're there because they're getting customers in the habit of going to a coffee shop every day. And the opportunity that we have at Pete's is for people to come in and experience what high quality fresh roasted coffee tastes like presented by trained baristas in our stores. Now, and there actually was, what, a Starbucks Pete's connection going back to the yeah, very beginning? Yeah, there's, you know, we've kind of gone in and out together uh, through the process. I mean, everyone in the coffee industry is pretty, you know. Has worked for one of the others yeah, or, or whatever else. That's kind yeah. of how, they, uh, how the industry unfolds. Yeah. So you got, what, four stores here in the region right now? We do. We opened four stores last month. Uh, we have a store in Forbes, which is Oakland, Brentwood, East Carson and uh, Freeport. Okay, and is this part what, happening elsewhere in the Midwest and Eastern United States? Yeah, right absolutely. Now? Um, over the summer, we opened up uh, about 20 stores in uh, the Ohio market, Cleveland and Columbus. Um, uh, later last month, we opened up seven stores in Michigan. Okay, so really seeing the Midwest is a real opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, d the people here. Um, and there is a coffee, uh, coffee culture in the Midwest, and we're really excited to be a part of that uh, with the emerging business, especially here in, in Pittsburgh. Oh, really cool. All right, well, great to have you in our region. Pete's Coffee and Tea. I have to check it out. Chip Crittenden, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you so it. much for having us. And next up, pitching in to put food on the table for Thanksgiving in our region. Stay with us.